we haven't touched on the biggest quarterback, arguably the biggest quarterback news. Yeah. That Tom Brady's back. So <laughs> the, the Buccaneers just went from top level to terrible to top level again. In the next- <laughs> I saw uh, some funny thing, dude. It says something, I think they were talking about Garoppolo. It said something like they couldn't believe that the but that Brady retired in return before the 49ers got rid of Garoppolo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's interesting, though. You know, we, we all talked about the fact that uh, why did he do this? What, what was his reasoning behind this? And uh, it was interesting that you guys all have heard of Pat McAfee, right? The guy that used to be the punter for, yeah. uh, I guess, the Colts, right? And yeah. uh, he's got a podcast. And he had an interesting take on this. He said that this was all calculated. Uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, not Pat McAfee. It was uh, Teddy Bruschi, who played with uh, – with, uh, Brady for many years said it was all pretty calculated. His theory was that Brady announced his retirement early because he was trying to force, this is his opinion now, trying to force the Buccaneers hand that there were rumors that he wasn't getting along with uh, Leftwich, who was the offensive coordinator. He wasn't getting along with, uh, Arians, with right? uh, Bruce Arians. And he wanted to see if the, if the Buccaneers would trade his rights to another team. Okay. So when it didn't happen, uh, he decided to, to, to come back. But the theory was, according to Bruschi, that he was going to come back all along, that he never really intended to retire. So, so in other words, he retired, and, and his hope would that then after he retired, that they would say, okay, we'll trade your rights. Well, they because, they, because even if you retire, a team still right, right, owns but, your right, rights. Right, but I'm trying to think of how does him retiring, how does it make it, how does, why did he think that was be more likely for him to get his trade his his rights trade? Well, I mean, l- let's look at it. Let's look at it this way: if you're the Buccaneers, right, and you hold the rights to Tom Brady, okay, and he retires, you don't you really don't have anything. Well, you know, there's some teams out there who think, hey, let's go ahead and just trade a few picks to for to the Buccaneers for the rights to Brady. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe we could talk him into coming back. You see what I mean? Yeah, uh, but but. Okay, if you're Brady and you really want to leave, the better out is to just go ask for a trade. Yeah. Because then, a, they know you want to be traded. Right. B, they know that if they don't trade you, you'll just say, "Well, I'll retire." Right. Yeah, exactly. Or, you, know, you might as well get something for him because Brady could command quite a bit. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. And and Brady doesn't look like it doesn't look like a doofus retiring and coming back within two weeks. <laughs> so everybody yeah. wins. How'd you like to be the guys who already? What signed free agent contracts elsewhere while he was still retired, and now they're going to end up on a team that, that uh, doesn't have Tom Brady anymore. That, that's even more interesting. Uh, the Buccaneers also re signed Chris Godwin, the guy who got hurt or tore his ACL. So the Buccaneers, all of a sudden, like Joseph said, become a team that's uh, got to be considered one of the favorites again. That's funny. If you're a Buccaneers fan, you're like, ah, uh, Bob and the Pack, and they're like, oh, Super Bowl. Again. Here we go. That's right. Well, yeah, yeah and, that, but let's like, like now. It's been like two weeks. Nothing changed. It's like yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, look, I, maybe Bray, I, maybe he had some master plan. I don't know, but either way, it just looks. I, I, it just looks really bad on it him. Does. I, yeah. I, I think that looks really childish and like really uh, maybe not childish the right word, but it just looks really like unprofessional. It looks something. Did you agree yeah. with this, Joseph? Or what? I don't know. Like yeah, I mean, first first of all. I wouldn't have rushed into a decision like either way, yeah. like you're Tom Brady. Like you can take as long as you want. Like, you know what I mean? So, right. yeah, I mean, but then that's the first thing, but B or B, if you do rush into a decision and say you retire, well, just wait till like July to see her coming back yeah. or something. Yeah. That's right. Like, that's... Just train like you're going to play. And yeah. then it's not like they're not going to give you your job back at that yeah. point. You're Tom. So just, just wait like a week before training camp and be like, you know what? I decided to play again. That was my point. You lose nothing by just waiting. Right. And you save face. Right. So, you know, just come back right before the season starts. You're fine. Well, it doesn't look that horrible. Because people are like, oh, you know, it's just been. Well, I, I think I think more than likely, I mentioned this to you guys or when he, when, we, when he came back here last week. I think more than likely, you know, life hit Tom Brady in the face. I mean, the guy's been a quarterback for, what, 22 years, right? I think he retired. He was home. He wakes up in the morning. The kids are there. He's got to fix breakfast, blah, blah, blah. He's sitting in his office if he has one. He's thinking, what the heck am I doing here? I mean, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm still a top quarterback. You know, I'm going to be sitting here figuring out what I'm going to do. You can only travel so much. And I think he decided, you know, I'm just going to keep playing. I mean, I might as well keep playing. So I think that's what happened more than anything else. <laughs> 
And I could see that if he came back halfway through the season or right. something. But he couldn't have realized that like two weeks before that moment that uh, that was going to happen. Well, I think his wife well, put a lot of pressure on him. Go ahead, Joseph. Well, yeah, and you made a good point too that I mean, yeah, he's had previous off seasons before where he's not playing, but he's always like knew he was going to play and was working out and was like, like he knew it was just kind of temporary and then he was always playing, right? Right. So right. Probably, probably did really retire and like you know completely like disregard football for a little while and really, yeah, like you said, realize that it's kind of boring. Like, what am I doing? You know, like right. yeah. dumb. So right. you know that. That's probably what happened. And maybe, and maybe, like I said, maybe he tried to think, maybe he tried to plan that, like, okay, what's my life going to look like if I retire before he made his decision? Right. But it's, uh, that, uh, thinking like that or trying to 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 put your mind in, in that place different than when it actually happens, I guess, right? So That's very true. And, and so I think, I, too, I can see how maybe he thought he was prepared for that, but then when it actually happened. But, again, that goes back to Joseph's point. Then, then just keep working out, then to come back in July. Right, 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 right. And you can't argue that it's the money because the guy's got more money than he knows what to do with. I think I think Tom Brady's one of those few guys, and you don't find many of them in the, in the NFL or any sport for that matter, that just really loves to play the game. You know, I mean, and I think he just feel like feels like, hey, I'm going to be 40. What is he going to be? 45 years old in, in, in August. I still got a couple of years left. I might as well just keep playing because once you quit especially yeah. if you're 45 or 46, yeah. it's really hard to come back. That's a good point. Yeah, I think you really yeah, he's, you couldn't, you couldn't sit out this season. And try yeah, to yeah. Yeah, and yeah, like you say, I obviously likes to play. He could have retired six or seven years ago and been, you know, considered one of the best quarterbacks of all time. So. Exactly, yeah, uh, exactly. And, and he has no and he has no reason to try to to delay his comeback to after training game because he doesn't do anything in training game anyways. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, he doesn't do anything – He'll be, be the first quarterback in NFL history to start at age 40, 45. So that's right. That's right. Um, you know, that's exactly right. And uh, he's definitely better than some of those guys that played deep into their career. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the, uh, the uh, interesting. Let's just, so just basically got, you got to the Super Bowl this year. Right. Right. I mean, or was the, the NFC, they basically got to the NFC championship games. So. And now remember the Buccaneers still have, uh, uh, What's his name? The receiver, uh, Mike Evans. Mike Evans. Thank you. They they re-signed Chris Godwin. They signed re-signed Brashad Perriman. Uh, they signed another offensive lineman. They signed a wide receiver from the Falcons, Russell Gage. Uh, so I think the Buccaneers, you know, they haven't lost a lot of free agents. I don't think. What's the deal with Antonio Brown? He's a. I know they cut him, but like, is, is he going to be playing? Or I doubt it. I don't know I what's going to happen. He's, and technically, he's a free agent, I think. I think so, yeah, because they cut him. So he pretty much can go anywhere he wants, but I don't know who's going to sign him. I, I mean, I, he's, he's, I'm not sure that I would sign him if I was a team looking for a receiver because you just never know what's going to happen with him. So No, but if you're a team late in the year that's on the verge. Yeah, you're right. Like, eh, we'll put up with some crap for a few weeks. <laughs> maybe we can make the playoffs. 